So you have a Drill Ranger. You're facing up against a Death Prophet. You have all the information in the world, QL. What would you like to play in this sort of situation? Is it the puck? The... You notice what he's doing too? He's going the longest possible way because he wants them to think that there's a chance that they can kill him. In with a ward. He cuts through the tree and we are there with a the Gale and Art Style. I think this is the end, my friends. Blocked up again. These Plague Wards perfectly placed. And we are to Benamancer. We will get the first team, but Misery doesn't quite get there for the Sprout of General and Art Style. Poking in from the back end. Pile I die. He gets the Hex down onto the Enchanted with a Stun as well. The they need a TP through. for this one. They've got the heal. And General uh, did your right, but comes with the Astral's oh, Misery. Oh, they mess up a little bit. They've got the Fortune's End trapping him in, and the Astral will catch Eternal Envy. The right click attacks come through. The Na'Vi. They find the Drow Ranger. They're like quite excited to see them in this one. And the first land they've qualified for since end of 2015, kind of thing, or mid-2015. Mid it's been a long old time, Puppy. He's getting nuked down a fair amount. Earth Spike is out, but misses out onto Digi Rather. Damage onto our style will be enough, and Secret gets something for their troubles. But look at where Eternal Envy's standing from the right side of the trees, just throwing out these frost arrows. But now V, they've got so many heroes down here. We are might get enclosed. The net is actually trapping him in, and Denny with the X of the R, the Venomancer. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and Secret within their own jungle. Much just become like a one man terror show where. You know, he fingers plus the nature's profit ulti is usually enough to kill anybody, but this time around it's been slowed down. But General is getting really low here. Rewind. <laughs> yeah, we all got dropped. I mean, with the drums. And Puppy's made his way up here at top, and they're gonna immediately start TPing people up here as Art Style is isolated is way behind the towers. He's gonna try to drag attention once again, but. Oh, the attack's coming through slowly but surely, but they will finish him off. And Navi, they took their foot off the pedal for even half a minute in secret. They react in strength and deny the tier one tower at the top. Now you're looking at this dude. Oh, this is a really good rotation though, down oh, at bottom. You're right, the Chrono wants Envy with the Exorcism, and this kill will not only destroy Eternal Envy's early game farm, but also allow them to transition straight into the tier one down at bottom lane. What I normally look to is even less than the gold, is just the XP lead that they've been able to build up. It means that their supports are doing quite well. Hello there, Zeneco. Didn't expect this one. Doom Hex dead. Secret will snag themselves a kill, and again, they look for objectives. They just probably do some severe structural damage, but Aegis will definitely go the way of Navi. Yeah, and this is the classic trade-off, right? That pretty much started happening around the entry, where Bulldog would push in top, and... Good. And then you get a lot more control out of it, and they're smoked up. They want to go on Pilot Die. They should be able to kill. Yeah, Fortune's End. Earth Spike will land down at Snake But Dichira, he's looking and hunting for more. And Weeha, there's an Astral here from Dichira. Catches out the Venomancer. The rest of the team from Na'Vi's coming in thick and fast. And Weeha, I mean, you throw out your ultimate, but where's the rest of it? His teammates left him high and dry. Damage output, you know, it looks tasty, but without your Drow Ranger, without your Doom or your Nature's Prophet, there was just nothing doing there for Team Secret. And that's a significant cooldown used by Secret as well. That's a two minute your ultimate timings when you can, especially when you've got the OD that has an Aegis, but he's immediately gonna TP top, go for Misery, who's now run out of mana, and this should be a free kill for him if you can find him. Phase boots, little jukes, there's a Sandy's Eclipse here if he really needs it. Does Digi run know where he's gone? Oh my god, oh, Misery, no. have you really hidden he yourself in the trees here? He gone. goes to the east, he goes to the west, he finds him, and Digi are not gonna get fooled so easily by- A little bit further. Will EE be able to game sense this one though? Art style general. They've got the chrono and the impetus damage as well. Art style. He's running low on mana and turn and he's actually tanking through this. A fair amount with a gust back. He cannot TP away because of Art Style's damage output, but the rest of his team impetus. Oh, he actually turns back to try and take the limited amount of damage, but the turnaround misery TP's in with a sprout oh, he's got the sprout They've got the doom onto general. One for one, not the exact result that Secret were looking for. The highlight die doesn't get the stun off, the purge already comes out and... Ooh, three max silence. Here comes Dendi. You'll set her up and Spirit Slap back onto two. We are on die both caught with a big ultimate from We are back onto three with the finger of death. Dendi's Dendi. hitting real low. He's raining an HP back from Poppy, but it's not enough. With Dipjira blinking aggressively forward, the ass will try and save his teammates. The courier just like wandering around looking for... Looking for his master, but Dendi is dead. And even with Pilot Dice Miss Stun to lead that fight, Navi, they couldn't really do it. A hell of a lot of damage, but it's Misery that's actually scouted out, and he turns back greedily trying to farm, but the vision from the Sprout not going to be good enough. Our staff just needs to get into range, and with the Dragon Lance available, he'll be in the perfect prime position. Again, to kill off Misery. Yeah, he has 
And the purge is coming through. Arstal is slowed down. Puppy's still looking for a target to do him up the gust onto Dityra. No orbs for him. But the jump ball. Oh, that emerald. And the turn left. Be away. Oh, the people dead back onto the little froggy. But the turn left. He's trapped. The impetus damage up into the high ground as Dendi chases him down. Spirit Siphon forward. And Emerald Fortune's ended through. But Envy's dead. And there's Dityra OD. Kept alive. Misery on the retreat away. Secret. Oh, my God. Puppy is trapped. He's stuck up on this ramp. But they did kill off the OD. At the very least, we are holding the high ground position. The damage over time. Oh, that's going to be Blitz. maybe another hero down too. As Misery goes for the TP. Nabs him as well. And Puppy just holds up though in the false promise. And even with that tunnel steer, they just could not capitalize. Puppy did such a good job of not getting doomed that he was able to find the outside edge, get the Doom off. Observer Ward, he's acting as one at least, and he'll scout out the smoke, blink himself back. Oh, look at that timing. General nearly catches him, but it's yours under the end. Puppy Sons now trapped and stuck. The high ground was his friend, but no longer. And that's Andy. it. Skirmishing, but they just never get the perfect opportunity unless you know it. All these fights, Secret have presented. To oh, DR Rod wins the town. Man, the Doom and the Finger of Death. I will say that he didn't expect that. He's like, free tree in? OD buyback guy. Oh, you're right. There's no buyback on him and no gold for it either. This could just be a tier three straight up. Maybe even, maybe look for Rack, because then be sure you've got the Octarine core and a DD rune, but you're going to have to pop your ghost sooner rather than later. Top lane is getting pushed in as well as Arstyle dropping the incredibly low, but Poppy, he's going to get right clicked out by the Enchantress. Aegis is gone, and Dendi on the front lines. He is trying to force them back with the full force there. The blink forward and he catches oh, so four many of them. Heroes. The poison noble starts taking them over and Puppy just battles through in the cage of trees. The nade got gone and dead and down he goes. And General, he's got the chrono, but he's caught Dendi in it as well. Oh, just so allowing them to right click and pummel into him. Five dead. Not be buyback central. You bring back the DP, bring back the faces void. OD respawns for 16 to 12. Secret cat. They're grouped up heavily. Is Puppy's gonna pick up the arcane rune? Well, I mean, he's gotta be careful. Oh no. The Gale lands. Okay. Be as well, but as the false promise, the Doom and Hex onto Dichira. He's getting burnt out in the blink forward. The TV forward. Misery is on the back line. Looking for the finger of death. Is burnt out and down he goes. Popped into oblivion. It's a good chrono though, General. He's caught two. Misery dropping low. Exorcism goes still going away. Dendi's damaging everyone down a pylon. Dying. There's the impetus out from our style. A double kill for Dendi. And maybe this is a fight the Na'vi were looking for. Weeha! Oh, he's got his ulti. He's got a poison Nova back onto the two of them. Dendi and General dropping low. They've got him out. And a triple oh, kill for Dendi. The TP. But he's dying to the ghost. Let's look at him. Oh, a kill for Dendi. They just walk straight on in. It doesn't matter though. This should mean a Rax. They're going to take this really quickly. Dendi's got to make his way slowly up there as Misery and Internal Envy just completely avoiding the fight, realizing this is a free Rax opportunity. Envy's going to get out. Misery blinks out at the last second. Oh, that's a free. This is not. It's too late. A free Rax for them is. Yeah, this is just going to be taken for free as Navi. They're trying to make their move for the Roshan pit, but Misery might just see this and say to himself, I can go for the mid one as well. So like you said, as soon as they draw people back, suck them in. I'll go into the rush pit of their own accord. Eternal Envy, Misery, we are all in the pit. Now this I like dying goes down so fast. Leave them open to a Chrono from General, so secret they will try and bail themselves out of that big AoE, the choke point, but a Doom on the General. Puppy chose his target and chose as well, and we are on a shred him with the poison damage, even with the full throw out. Puppy on the run, retreating away from the Rehar. There's the poison Nova, back onto three. Eternal Envy gonna go down. against the Aegis of the Immortal. Onto the Nature's Prophet. And they've actually forced out Dendi's exorcism. They might look to fight with a finger of death. They definitely will. Dendi! Tile I die. Perfect place and perfect time. Even. They're going to go for the split pushes. Eternal Envy. They're going to force them to make the decision. Are you going to defend this bottom one? Or are you just going to leave this mid one for oh, free? Oh, Clever Cape keeps him alive. There's no reveal. Misery doesn't even care about heroes. He's just going straight for the buildings. Right, click the building. Structural damage is good. And the blink forward again. Did you are caught? They're going to try and save him. Seneco, though, look at that. Output. And it's all over. Navi tap out against Team Secret in game number one. It looks even. It looked good for Navi for what, the first 15 minutes. But that initial fight, as soon as Venomous got his Agony Scepter, it looked rough. Yeah. The biggest thing is the Secret were always outmaneuvering Navi around the map. They were forcing them into awkward situations. They would push them in such a way that Misery would almost always get a free opportunity to go for his own split push.
and they just did such a good job at isolating targets as well. With those dooms onto Ditya Ra, almost erasing that net worth. I mean, when we look at other teams, you know, it, it's usually quite.